Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of the PTS patch notes for Stonethorn and update 6.1.0 and update 27 for the PTS news. <laughs> and so this is uh, stuff that's going to be on the public test server. If you don't know what that is, um, it, is a rental, it is a separate server from the live server that allows you to play test stuff on the on there and see if everything is working right and all that for the devs <laughs> you're basically a free worker but it's pretty fun so let's go ahead and get into the second part which is the combat and gameplay and itemization changes coming with this update and as it says bring a snack because it's a long one and as always guys if you guys want to see what's in these um, patch notes check the link in the description below you'll be able to find a link to these patch notes that'll tell you every that'll you know have this all set out for you so you can read through them yourselves but there is a lot <laughs> all right let's go ahead and get started as part of the ongoing efforts to help improve uh improve performance all item sets in the game have been updated to use better logic when attempting to determine their proc conditions with your actions we will send we will send significantly less messages to the server and ultimately being less taxing when they fail to meet their conditions we've also audited the vast majority of item sets in terms of their power so make sure to check out the itemization section and it says bring a snack for a reason <laughs> in addition to item sets many abilities have received back end improvements to their scripting to help reduce unnecessary effects checks and logic parsing and will allow more accurately follow their described behaviors such as proc conditions We've also introduced a new area of effect adjustment to the backend operations to help reduce their messaging and overall requirements to ping and area. Currently, we've only applied this to the Dragon Knight standard and its morphs, as well as some monster abilities. We plan to monitor the overall improvements in a real combat environment, then slowly comb through old AoE abilities and apply the changes we where applicable. So. <coughs> Yeah, expect the next update, the next DLC update to have the back end, more back end changes to skills and abilities. So they fixed an issue where some projectiles could hover around your character in some very rare cases. Fixed an issue where newly equipped weapons could occasionally not appear and your characters have now been taught more eloquent manners and eat more subtly and uh if suitably if blocking this will fix an issue where your character while where eating while holding block could result in truly barbaric visual results and they fixed an issue where cast uh time abilities could miss an invisible target while detection portion uh potion was active all right moving on buffs and debuffs fix numerous instances where minor vulnerability from certain sources such as teleport strike were not being detected properly by sets like icy conjurer dragon knight so changes to ardent flame the uh, dragon knight standard fixed an issue where the visual effects from this ability in some wars could end early in some cases shifting standard fixed an issue where this ability would last longer than intended in some cases draconic powers inhale deep breath morph this morph's explosion now deals 25 percent more damage and the initial hit no longer ranks up 1.1 per damage um but the final hit now does and then draw essence this morph now heals 147 percent of the damage done up from 100 percent and ranks up one percent per rank the final explosion of this ability no longer increases by 1.1 percent per damage rank <clears throat> wow Necromancer fixed an issue where casting tether ability could sometimes cause your character to turn around and face the opposite direction you were facing. Gravelord shocking siphon detonating siphon. This ability's final explosion now occurs when the tether ends for any reason rather than only the final duration was met. Rather only if the final duration was met, yeah. Bone Tyrant, Gravegrass. This ability has renewed significant improvements to its functionality and does the following. The first area now snares enemies hit by 30% down from 50. The second area now immobilizes enemies hit up to 4 seconds rather than snaring them. And then the final area stuns enemies 
hit for up to three seconds rather than snaring them. Each area continues to apply minor maim. Ghostly Embrace. This morph now increases the duration of all negative effects applies from the ability rather than adding an immobil immobilize to each field as that is now a baseline experience. Empowering Grasp. This morph empowers your last, uh, now last for five full second duration rather than being consumed on use. So that's pretty nice. <coughs> All right, Nightblade, Assassinate, Grim Focus. This ability is more now grant 2% critical healing or damage and healing per stack rather than reducing the damage taken by 2% per stack in order to help uh, this ability feel more aggressive and assassination orientated. And then of course, st uh, stacks removed from this ability after ending combat will now only be removed in PVP zones rather than all the time, fixing numerous issues where you could lose all stacks granted where you appear to be still in combat. Master Assassin. This passive's weapon and spell damage is now granted to your damaging attack against enemies you are flanking rather than granting a universal amount while sneaking or invisible. The weapon damage is now a flat 129 to 258 rather than a 5 to 10 percent of your current amount. Shadow. Shadow Cloak. Fix an issue where this ability was granting immunity to projectiles from targets that had detection potions active and they updated in many cases where this ability's invisibility was removed where it shouldn't have been such as against Ballista. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to clear my throat. But a lot of talking. <laughs> Summon Shade. This ability and the Dark Shade Morph can now be cast without a target. A Shadow Image can... As Shadow Image can. Shadow Image, the Shade from this ability no longer has player con, uh, collision active to prevent issues where it could become stuck or could be used as a stepping stool. Please be more considerate of your Shade's feelings as it is an extension of you and you are worth it. That's pretty funny. Siphony, Soul Shred, fixed an issue where the morphs from, of this ultimate would fail to stack from multiple casters in the same cases. Soul Siphon fixed an issue where the heal beam on allies was breaking sooner than intended. It will now snap to uh, at 30 meters rather than 25. Strife, increase the damage done from this ability and the funnel health morph to approximately 39% to ensure the proper uh, properly adhere to heal over time standards. And they fixed an issue where both of these abilities would attempt to apply a heal over time even if the target dodged the attack causing the, the empty hot to override an existing cast. Okay. <clears throat> Sorcerer, Dark Magic, Crystal Shard. Now this is something a lot of people are going to like. So reduce the cast time of this ability in Swords by to 800 milliseconds down from a one second. Reduce the damage done. This is going to be the sucky part. Of, from these abilities by approximately 21%, reduce the cost to 2700. This, these abilities now have a new affix where after successfully casting your next non-ultimate ability used within three seconds costs 10% less. That's actually pretty cool. Crystal Fragments Morph. So this ability can now proc off itself. Slightly in, uh, reduce the damage done from this, um, from the special proc by 1% and introduced a safety window after activating the special proc to help avoid immediately querying uh, the base versions cast right after. Crystal Blast. This morph has been reworked into a stamina morph. Guys asked for it, we got it. <laughs> and renamed to Crystal Weapon. It is now an instant cast ability that causes your next light or heavy attack made within 4 seconds to deal additional damage equal to the standard spammable amount such as Lava Whip or Veiled Strike. Enemies hit by this ability will uh, will, will have their armor reduced by a thousand. That's actually pretty cool. I like this new change. In case this ability and its morphs now restore up to 66% of their ability cost if no targets are immobilized from the cast. <clears throat> so Crystal Blast, good change in my opinion. We needed a stamina morph. In case that needed to happen, <laughs> because uh, I was tired of like casting it and not grabbing anything sometimes, 
Daedric Summoning. All pets from this skill line now use a hybrid of your spell damage and max magicka rather than purely max magicka. This change was done to reduce the total power of these abilities when stacking a singular stat. Rebate. This passive now restores 15, uh, 150 to 300 magic or stamina determined um, by what ability costs. When one of the Daedric Summoning non-ultimate abilities in rather than restoring Magicka when the Daedric Summoning pets died or were unsummoned. Summon Unstable Familiar fixed an issue where this ability and its more special area of effect attack had a higher chance of applying Concussed than intended. Summon Volatile Familiar fixed an issue where this ability stun applied on the second to last tick rather than on the final tick. And then summon unstable clan fear. This ability, special ability, is now halved when healing itself. And they fixed an issue where the taunt, um, the taunt this pet could cast was on its global cooldown, which could lower its DPS. Storm calling, bolt escape, ball of lightning. Fixed an issue with this ability's actual ball of lightning could count towards successful kills in some cases. And they fixed an issue where Ball would leave a corpse for a brief moment. Templar, Adric Spear, Burning Light. This passive has been slightly reworked so that the damage now triggers on uh, when you deal damage four times within rapid succession on an enemy with an Adric Spear ability rather than having 25% proc chance per hit. Note that the time window is long enough that abilities that hit at least once every second between will continue to proc this passive so this is really cool because this will still apply to those spears um spear shards and to that and but it will not apply now to your shields which kind of sucks but and you know puncturing strikes that kind of thing so puncturing strikes reduce the tick frequency of this ability uh, and it's more to 33 uh, 333 milliseconds down from 300 milliseconds to better sync its damage with its animation puncturing sweeps fixed an issue where the heal from this ability was based on the damage of the initial hit rather than the amount of damage done to each individual target resulting in a significant reduction to healing when hitting multiple targets with this fix, we're, we'll be keeping a close eye on the Templar's ability to stay in the thick of the fight. <coughs> Radial Sweep. This ultimate and its morphs now have a minor cast time to help better sync the damage and animation, as well as adding more time to counterplay the re and, and uh, to counterplay to react. Dawn's Wraith Backlash fixed an issue where this ability and its morphs stored more, much more damage done to the target than the tooltip stated this will make the ability require more damage uh, particularly in pvp in order to reach its maximum damage and they fixed an issue where these abilities did not reset with their stored damage values after detonating in some cases restoring light cleansing ritual ritual rebirth this morph now sacrifices its healing potential for damage for the damage rather than adding damage on top of the healing the damage now increases by 5% each tick for the duration of the ability, up to a maximum of 35%. Don't know how I feel about it. Gotta test it. But as I see it right now, this could be really bad for Templars. <laughs> Healing Ritual. Reduce the cost of this ability as worth to 5,265, down from 7,290. They decrease the healing of this ability by approximately 25%. This will set a new AoE heal spam spammable standard where the healing and cost are 50% more than the AoE damage spammable counterpart, which we will monitor and adhere other abilities to in, the in future updates. So that's kind of cool. Lightweaver. This ultimate has been updated to so healing an ally under 50% of any restoring ability restores one to two ultimate rather than restoring one to two ultimate when be, when healing an ally under 60% health with healing ritual. So now it's any healing you do to anyone below 50% health, you get one to two ultimate. And the passive no longer extends the duration of restoring aura. Warden, animal companion swarm. They fixed an issue for growing swarm um, that couldn't be cast while silenced. 
green balance healing seed this synergy from this ability and its worth no longer count as a green balance skill as synergies are not meant to be enhanced by their respective skill line passives they are activated by allies and not the caster themselves budding seeds fixed an issue where the animation for recasting this ability could force its animation after delay rather than skipping its animation if you were already pre uh, preoccupied and then the other fixes they fixed an issue where the heal uh, from this ability could happen twice in this in some very specific situations weapon destruction staff fixed an issue where the heavy attack from lightning staffs would quickly stutter after immediately starting to channel in some cases Try focus fixed an issue where the splash damage of lightning um, stabs heavy attacks was double hit by battle spirit and they fixed an issue where the attack could proc the concussed status effect despite light and heavy attacks being unable to inflict status effects. All right. Dual will. <coughs> fixed an issue where light attacks from this weapon did not break stealth. Restoration staff fixed an issue where heavy attacks from this weapon would quickly stutter and immediately starting to channel in some cases. Uh, Two-handed critical charge stampede. This morph now also causes the initial hit to deal area effect damage on impact. That is awesome. Reverse slight fixed an issue where the splash damage from this ability was double by uh, hit by battle spirit. That's good. All right, armor, heavy armor, unstoppable, immovable morph. This morph now ranks up in a duration of major resolve granted rather than in duration of CC immunity granted. Fixed numerous issues where CC immunity from this ability operated differently than other sources. Vampire, um, world skills vampire, fixed an issue where two vampires could feed on the same target at the same time. Please keep this sort of activity on the privacy of your own homes. <laughs> Blood Scion, Swarming Scion, fixed an issue where this ability did not display a hostile telegraph, um, fixed an issue where the damage from the Bat Swarm could fall to break the caster stealth or invisibility. Eviscerate, decrease the, the execute multiplier of this ability and arterial burst to 33% down from 50. And Blood for Blood Morph, decrease the execute multiplier of this morph to 60% down from 100. This ability now ranks up in five execute scaling damage per rank rather than 1.1 per rank and after casting the ability you cannot be healed by allies for five seconds <coughs> misform fixed issue where speed ribbons um, would appear while ch channeling this ability which applied to an invisible husk of your own uh, old world form before it, you twisted to gain the unholy powers okay werewolf Call of the Pack, fixed an issue where this passive was counting uh, your dire wolves in some cases. Pounce, an additional failsafe for this ability and its morphs to help reduce situations where you could uh, become locked after using Carnage Override. Brutal Pounce, fixed an issue where the ability's damage was split into two stacks rather than a singular attack of the area of effect damage. And then Roar, Furia, Furious Roar, fixed an issue where the attack spread uh, attack speed from this ability was applying to things other than heavy attacks. Okay, that's a good, a, another good fix in my opinion. Assault, Alliance War. So Vigor, this ability is now first in the skill line to unlock and has been swapped with Raven Maneuvers in effort to help build um, focused on stamina to have healthier leveling experience. Previous XP gain in both of the skill lines will be retained but if your assault skill line is too low to obtain the third skill you have to level it in order to gain access to rapid maneuvers again okay all right so the big one itemizations and item sets consumables fixed an issue where enchants that reduce the cost of stamina abilities also reduce the cost of core combat mechanics such as dodge roll or bash you guys didn't know that that was bad armor traits they redid them again guys so if you guys didn't know back i don't know i think it was somerset or before that they redid armor traits and then they just put them back <laughs> like they do this and i don't know why so divines they increase the munda stone um to 9.1 percent up from 7.5 and penetrable they reduce the critical resistance to 127 from 172 infused increase the enchantment potency to 25 percent up from 20 invigorating increase the recovery bonus to 16 up from 11 
Nern Hone, they decrease the amount of armor granted to uh, 253 down from 301, and well fitted. They increase the cost reduction granted to 6% up from 5. What? <laughs> like, uh, that's all I can say is what? A lot of that's really good. Like the 16 from 11, and then the, the 9.1 on the, the, the Divines, and even even the, the well fitted is actually a lot better now. All right, weapon trait decisives. They increase the chance to proc to 27.5 and 55 up from 2040 and then they de defending and sharpen they increase the amount of armor and armor penetration to 1638 on one-handed to 3276 on two-handed up from 1376 and uh, 2752 so they pretty much put it back to where it was <clears throat> precise they increase the critical chance granted from this um, trait to uh, 4.3 and 8.6 up from 3.5 and 7%. This is probably the first time we've ever seen it go up to 8.6 on a two-handed. That's pretty crazy. Jewelry traits. Another adjustment. Arcane Robust. Increase the maximum amount to 877 up from 870. Not too much. Bloodthirsty. This trait now grants 250 weapon and spell damage against targets under 90% health. Scaling initially per 1% missing health. After granting a flat 10% bonus against targets under 25% health. So this is actually pretty interesting. That just made Bloodthirsty really powerful. Harmony reduces the synergy effectiveness bonus 20% down from 35. That's not good, but it's... We'll see. Health got in, uh, increased to uh, 965. And then Swift increased the movement speed to 7% and Trirune... This is my favorite. They increase the amount of Magicka and health um, to 439 and 482 from 435 and 478. I know it's not a lot, but when you have three of them on your jewelry, you see the improvement. <coughs> Mundustone's got an adjustment too. Anorak and the Serpent increase the recovery bonus to 310 up from 238. Mage and Tower decrease the amount of resources by five down for so from two to 2023 down from 2028 lord they decrease the amount of health you get by five lady and lover they decrease the amount of armor penetration granted um by a bit down so six it looks like or seven from 252 to 2744 so or 2752 to 2744 the Thief, they increase the Critical Strike, granted, um, only by 5, but still, you're going to notice it. And Ritual, they decrease the healing done to 8%, down from 10. And Shadow now grants 11% critical damage and healing rather than 13% critical damage. So that's actually kind of nice. I'm glad they did that. The 13% was really nice, but I think this will be a lot better because it adds to healing as well. Item Sets. This is the long one. So item sets, developer comments. As mentioned in the intro, all item sets have been audited to reduce their implications on performance. Proc sets will no longer do additional range checks on events that already passed one, such as an event triggering off of a light or heavy attack, will no longer send a message to the server when they fail uh, or on cooldown and are properly labeled as a proc set to enable, ensure they do not trigger other proc sets. During this audit, we also have also brought almost every set in the game under <coughs> our set bonus efficiency standard, which breaks down the set into its total worth of stats provided, plus modifiers such as how difficult or specific the set is to use, engage with, dual due to the um, sta staggering size of the, this list we've broken up the changes into more specific categories. Additionally, we've adjusted all item sets that have radius checks for friendly targets to no longer target all allies, but instead target group members only. This will reduce the amount of parsing and messaging dealt by the server and reduce their staggering power many of these sets can enable in a non-group content. This change affects the following item sets. So just to explain what this is, if there's a set that would normally work 
like you cast this ability it heals everybody in the air in this radius by this amount it now only affects your group members no longer affects everyone so alexia's Mer mercy automated defense brands of Perium, cold harbor's favorite drugger's rest earth gore grand rejuvenation uh, hagraven's garden haven of earth hollow fang Thirst, Inventor's Guard, Kind's Wind, Lamia's Song, Lord Warden, Lunar Bastion, Master Architect, Mysterious Service, Powerful Assault, Redistributor, Trinamex Valor, Vestments of Alorum, and Winter's Respite. Alright, so starting with crafted sets, Alicia's Bulwark, this set now reduces the attacker's weapon damage by 300 rather than by 10%. That's actually pretty good. Armor Master, this armor now uh, increased the armor granted to 5940 up from 5333. Assassin's Guile, this set's two piece is now weapon and spell critical rather than spell critical. The three piece is now weapon and spell damage rather than weapon critical. And the four piece is now weapon and spell critical rather than weapon and spell damage. They just swap some of it around. Cold Harbor's favorite. This set now heals for or damages for 16,254 over 6 seconds rather than over 4 seconds. And they fixed an issue where the damage could not be purged and did not appear to deep, uh, in your debuff tracker. Daedric Trickery. This set now activates on upon dealing damage rather than when you are in combat with a tamer, timer. They increase the damage uh, duration of all major buffs granted from this set to 16% up from 10 or 16 seconds up from 10 and the cooldown of any major buff applying from the set is still 20 seconds leaving combat now wipes the major buffs and resets the cooldown all praise the chaos of the lord sheogorath <coughs> death wind they reduce the cooldown to 15 seconds down from 30 grave state collector they reduce the magic of stamina rec uh, restored from this to 4190 down from 6500 and remove the proc chance from the set. The grave stake will spawn on any monster death you damage, but only one stake can be active at a time. And then they fixed an issue where this set could proc twice from the same stake in some cases. Innate and Axiom. <clears throat> the two piece of this set is now weapon and spell damage rather than magicka. This, uh, the three piece of this set is also now grants magicka. Actually makes it pretty good. So, Magus' Gift. Increase the proc chance of the set to 15% up from 8. Mechanical acuity, acuity. Remove the proc chance from this set. This set now grants a guaranteed critical strike to any ability that can critically strike rather than only attacks. They res uh, restored the set's 2-4 to four piece bonus to better account for bar swapping. Or reordered them and then might of the lost legion this set now grants an additional 1206 max health on the five piece bonus nobles conquest increased the healing done from the set to 4560 up from 4300 nocturnal saver this set now heals for eight or 9846 over five seconds with a five second cooldown rather than healing for 4000 instantly with a two second cooldown oblivion's full foe this set now increases the damage of your soul magic ability attacks by 2466 rather than adding a thousand weapon and spell damage to your soul trap increase the recovery bonus of the two to four piece to 211 up from 129 redistributor this set now has an overhealing caused rather than you heal yourself to have full health they decrease the healing to 2320 down from 2347 and they decrease the cooldown to one second down from three seconds. Shackle Breaker, they increase the stamina magicka of this item set to 2065 up from 2000, which isn't really much. Ordered, reordered the two to four piece bonuses to better account for bar swapping. And then, uh, let's see, where were we? Shackle Breaker, Shalador's Curse. This set now <laughs> activates on light and heavy attacks rather than only light attacks. And they increased the healing done to 3288 up from 600 and added an additional one second cooldown. Song of Lamia. Reduced the, the damage done from the set to 3786 down from 3870. Reduced the cooldown to three seconds down from 30. And the heal from the set now heals for the amount of damage done rather than a flat amount. <sighs> so nice. 
Tom's favor. This set now grants 12 ultimate over 3 seconds, up from 9. Updated the tooltip to mention 3 second cooldown. Torag's Pact. This set's 2 pieces now armor rather than spell damage. They increase the cooldown redu uh, reduction of enchantments to 33% up from 30%, and they increase the potency to 90% up from 30%. That's going to make Torag's Pact a really good set. Um, but we'll have to, I mean, we'll have to see how people treat it, but I do think it will make a really good set. Trial by Fire, this set now grants 8,500 armor while under the effects of elemental status effects rather than granting um, 7,721 armor to a specific element for a short duration after being hit. Twilight's Embrace, this set's two-piece is now Magicka rather than Health. Vampire's Kiss, this set now heals 8,800 over its duration, up from 5,160, and they fixed an issue where this heal could cr critically strike. Varen's Legacy, they reduced the damage bonus of the set to 3,290, down from 3,450, and they reduced the window in which you must activate it to 5 seconds, down from 8. They also uh, removed the proc chance and added a 2 second cooldown. Now, whenever you block an attack, your next direct damage AoE deal, uh, deals an additional 3,290 damage with a 2 second cooldown. White Strike... Uh, White Strike's Retribution. It's White Snake's Retribution. Increase the size of the damage shield, I think it is, um, up to 1335, up from 10,320. And Willow's Path, they increase the recovery amount, uh, a recovery bonus by 25% up from 15. Overland sets, Akavari Dragon Guard. This set now grants an additional 180, um, 158 health recovery in the five piece. Armor of the Trainee, this is the biggest mistake I think they've made. This set is now a three piece set rather than a five piece set. And this is the bonuses on the three piece. Uh, one to three piece, but I, I do think it's good, but I also think it's bad and, and I'll explain why in another video Armor of the Veld Heritage, they increase the the video weapon damage of the set to 516 up from 400 and This set now permanently increases your back bashes attack damage by 516 Bahara's Curse, they increase the damage done to 960 up from 860 They increase the proc chance to 25% and they reduce the snare potency to 60% down from 70 Beekeepers. This sense two to four or three to four piece bonuses are now health rather than health recovery. They increase the health recovery of the set to 900 up from 400. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see how that works out. But it, it's Beekeeper was really good at like recovery set, and now it seems a little off. Bloodthorn's Touch, increase the magic and stamina generated from this set to 958 up from 660, uh, that's awesome. Briarheart, they reduce the healing done from the set to 350 down from 358, and the set no longer has a proc chance. Whenever you deal critical damage, your da weapon damage will now be increased by 450 for 10 seconds. While this effect is active, any critical strikes you do will heal for 350 with a 15 second cooldown like normal. Bright Throat's bur uh, Boast, increase the magic recovery from this set to 167, up from 150. Call of the Undertaker, this set no longer has a cooldown, and this set now triggers in any damage done rather than only light attacks. Champions of this, his, this set now grants an additional 1,206 max health while wearing 5 pieces. Crafty Elfie, they reduce the magic granted to 2550 down from 2560 and dual waters are dead waters guile this set now scales with the item level and quality they also increase the ultimate granted to 15 per kill up from five and this set now grants an additional 129 weapon damage on its five piece bonus defiler increase the damage of the set to 6840 up from 6000 remove the proc chance of the set the hunger of this set is now stationary Cannot be targeted and disappears after ending its attacks. They fix numerous issues where the hero will con constantly attempt to channel its abilities and stop preventing it from ever attacking. Draugr's Heritage. Increase the healing from the set to 8,750 up from 7,000. Reduce the cooldown to 7 seconds down from 20 and increase, uh, fix the issue where the heal could critically strike. 
Dreamer's Mantle. This set now restores 1,058 Magicka on proc rather than healing um, 7,000 on proc. And they reduced the cooldown to 7 seconds down from 20. Grace of Gloom. The heal from this set now activates once every second rather than requiring you to light or heavy attack to activate it. They reduce the healing to 1,097 per tick, down from 2,000 per proc. Green Pack, they increase the health recovery to 356, up from 250. Griffin's Furiosity, this set now lasts 10 seconds, up from 3. Hide of Morthus, increase the damage done from this set to 3338, up from 1830. This set now has now grants an additional 129 recovery on a 5-piece bonus. Um, Hide of the Werewolf increases the ultimate gain to 6, up from 5. Livewire reduced the cooldown on this set to 6 seconds, down from 8. Remove the proc chance from this set. Fixed an issue where the heal could critically strike. Mad Tinker, this is awesome. Increase the damage of the set to 10,390, up from 9999. Remove the proc chance from this set. Whenever you deal damage, a verminous fabricant will be summoned that will charge and deal out damage. And they reduce the cooldown to 8 seconds, down from 10. Mark of Pariah, they reduce the armor, max armor, to 10,206, down from 1194. This is the one I'm, I'm really upset by, Meridia's Blessed Armor. This set now causes to you to dodge all incoming damage for 5 seconds after blocking an attack, rather than having a 33% chance on blocking an attack to make the attacker miss all outgoing damage for 5 seconds. They also increase the cooldown to 25 seconds, up from 10, that's horrible. And then updated the visuals of the set. Mother Sorrow increased the spell critical. Uh, this set grants to 1937, up from 1924. No Necropens reduced the magic of granted from the set to 3132, down from 3150. Night Mother's Embrace increased the weapon damage of the five piece to 171, up from 129. That's really good. Plague Doctors they changed the four piece health um, to health rather than healing taken. We'll see, and then they lowered the amount of health you get by 200, just about. Prisoner's Rags, they uh, decreased the max, um, maximum restored by 943, down from 1000, fixed an issue where this set could activate while mounted. Robes of the Withered Hand increased magic and health restored from this set to 1637, up from 1450. Central Defender, this set now restores 757 magic and stamina per stack, up from 666. Essentials Bite, they increased the critical hit damage bonus of this set to 15% up from 12. 7th Legion Brute, decreased the weapon damage and health recovery granted by this set to 741 down from 350. They increased the duration of the cooldown to 15 seconds. Shadow of the Red Mountain, decreased the damage dealt to 5,900. 18 down from 8,000 and remove the proc chance. Now you, whenever you deal damage with the weapon, you spawn a volcano that erupts after one second and deals X amount of damage. This effect can occur once every two seconds. That's really crazy. Shulks, this set now grants an additional 129 spell damage when wearing five pieces. Silks of the Sun, the two piece has been changed to critical instead of max health. A lot of people have been asking for that for a while, so now it's done. Soul Shine, this set now grants 369 or 300 and seasoning spell damage for five seconds after activating a channel or cast time ability rather than 450 spell damage to your channel or cast time abilities that's kind of nice i like it but we'll have to see spinners garments and spriggan thorns increase the penetration amount to 3460 up from 3450 to a 10 point increase standards embrace this set, item set now removes all negative effects rather than up to five remove the proc chance this set now uh, from the set now whenever you heal a friendly target you remove all negative effects from them um, after 30 seconds so so yeah that's that's interesting that they did that with the Sindar's embrace storm knights played they reduce the damage done of this uh, set 2466 per tick down from 4373. 
They remove the proc chance from this set. Now whenever you take non-physical damage, you deal 2466 shock damage to all enemies within 5 meters of you every 2 seconds for 6 seconds. And damage is properly labeled as damage over time rather than direct damage. Stygian. This set now grants 369 spell damage for 15 seconds after leaving stealth or invisibility rather than increasing your damage while in stealth or invisible. And the three piece of this set is now spell damage rather than stamina. Swamp Raider, this set now increases weapon damage to your poison disease attacks by 600, up from 450, that's a lot. They swap the 3 and 4 piece bonuses to properly match the set. Um, sets such as Silks of the Sun and Netch's Touch. Sword Singer, this set now increases your weapon damage of your two-handed ability, uh, two-handed attacks. Wow. Up by 600. So that means your light and heavy attacks, your abilities, all that stuff is increased by 600. That's pretty nice. Seraboon's Grip, reduce the magic restored from this set to 805, down from 860. So, uh, Severus Scales, they increase the damage to 1,000. Well, this set to a thousand plus ten thousand over the duration up from nine hundred and sixty seven and five thousand something um the cooldown increased cooldown to seven seconds up from six and remove the proc chance now when you deal damage a burst of lamia's poison deals a thousand damage in a five meter radius and an additional over six seconds to all enemies hit that's actually pretty nice uh thunderbugs they reduce the damage by 200 almost and then they remove the proc chance. When you take physical damage, you deal shock damage in a 5 meter radius around you. And this effect can occur. So every 3 seconds you take damage, you're going to deal lightning damage. Oh my god. <clears throat> There's a Tesla tank just got improved <laughs> a lot. Trinamax Valor. Valor, they increase the healing and damage of this set um, up by 876 and the tooltip now properly mentions the delay before the damage and healing occur twin sisters this is one i'm actually surprised they made this change because it's, it's actually really nice they reduce the damage to 13,380 over its duration down from 1440 or 14,400 and remove the proc chance from the set now when you block an attack all enemies within five meters of you take bleed 13,380 bleed damage over 10 seconds so this doesn't matter what kind of weapons you're using anytime you block an attack you're going to deal bleed damage around you in a five meter radius that's pretty good that actually makes it a lot better set now unfathomable darkness increase the damage to 6,020 remove the proc chance now when you deal damage, a murder of crows will be summoned uh, around you every three seconds. A crow will be sent to attack uh, the enemy within 12 meters of you, dealing 6,000 something damage. Crazy. War Maidens now deal 600 spell damage to your magic attacks, up from 400. Oh my god. <laughs> Way of Air, this weapon and spell damage bonus is 391 up from 344. And this, item, uh, this set now grants an additional 129 stamina recovery on the five piece bonus way of fire reduce the damage done of this set um to 39 45 up from 4000 remove the proc chance from the set uh now when you deal damage with a weapon you will now uh you will deal an additional 4000 flame damage this effect can occur once every two seconds that's actually pretty nice wilder queen's arc uh, this set now scales in an item set quality and level. This set now increases your movement speed by 15%, reduces the enemy's movement speed by 15%, rather than in reducing the enemy's movement speed by 30%. Okay. Wisdom of Venus, this set now grants additional 129 damage on its 5 piece. Witchman Armor, this set restores 51 magica, health, magicka, and stamina per point of ultimate cost, rather than 28 health and stamina per point. Fixed an issue where the heal from the set could critically strike. Weird's, uh, Weird Tree's Blessing, this set now removes all negative effects rather than up to five. It's actually really nice. Dungeon Sets. Archer's Mine, this set now grants 6% critical damage and healing passively and additional 12% while in sneak or invisibility rather than granting 5% critical damage and 10% while in sneak or invisibility. Aspect, Aspect of Mazatun. 
This set restores 10,481 health, magicka stamina on proc rather than 6,020 magicka stamina on health. Uh, fixed issue where it could heal, could critically strike. Bark skin, reduce the proc chance, the health proc to 1715 down from 2300, reduce the stamina proc to 1858 down from 1000, and fix the issue where the heal could critically strike. Fix the issue where the set could fail to proc on uh, if the same snare was refreshed within a certain period of time. Wow. Okay, Bone Pirates, Tatters, increase the stamina recovery to 167 up from uh, 50, 150. Brands of Imperium, this set now, uh, the shield of this set is now 11,260 down from this, and they remove the proc chance. Now when you take damage, you and your allies within 8 meters gain a damage shield for 6 seconds, and can happen every 15 seconds. Awesome, Brands of Imperium just became better. Burning Spell Weave, reduce the damage granted from the set to 4, 000, or 490. This set no longer has a proc chance. When you deal damage with the flame damage ability, you, you apply the burning status effect to the enemy, increasing your spell damage for 8 seconds. This effect can occur once every 12 seconds. Wow. Caloran's Legacy, slightly increase the travel speed of projectiles from the set, reduce the ma minimum travel time, Okay, increase the damage done to 13,290 and remove the critical requirement of the set. Combat position, reduce the shield size to 4,308 down from this. The cooldown is now per target rather than overall. Dragon's Defilement, this set now has an additional 1,206 max health on the five piece bonus. Draugr's Hulk, reduce the stamina of the set to 2,550 down from 2,560. Elemental Succession, they fixed an issue where the cooldown for the each event will slightly was slightly longer than four seconds, okay? Essence Thief increased the health and stamina restored by the set to 4,356, up from 3,900. Flame Blossom, increased the damage of the set to 10,614, up from 8,000. This set now applies Burning Elemental status effect to enemies hit. This set, this set no longer has a proc chance. Now when you damage an enemy, you summon a lane of flame that moves towards the follow forward after one second dealing flame damage. In its path, this effect can occur once every 10 seconds. That's actually pretty nice now. Frozen Watcher, they increase the damage per tick to 1365 and fix an issue where the damage could return as direct damage in some cases. Glorious Defender, this set now causes you to damage the next, uh, to dodge the next attack after bashing an enemy with a 13 second cooldown rather than having a 9% chance. Um, yeah, light and heavy, cool. Gossamer reduced the duration of the set to one second down from two. Hagraven's Garden, this set now grants you and nearby group members in the area major protection rather than granting only you 50% damage reduction. Increase the duration to eight seconds, up from five, reduce the cooldown to 30 from 45, and this set no longer attempts to stun enemies who enter the area. Hand of Malfala. This set now applies minor fracture to enemies in the area of the web rather than the duration after the web explodes. They increase the damage to 23, uh, 2693 and they removed the proc chance for the set. Now when you take damage, a web appears all around you for 5 seconds, reducing movement speed in the enemies by 50% um, and applying major, minor fracture. After 5 seconds, the web bursts into venom, dealing 2693 to the enemies near you. Hanu's Compassion increased the Magicka granted for the 5 piece to 1963 up from 1096. Haven of Earth, this set now grants a shield up to 5 targets up from 1 and increased the shield size to 13 something, 13967 from 13954. Here is Scenes Veneer, this set now grants you and nearby allies 145 stamina recovery, rather reducing you and your allies stamina cost abilities by 4%. That's pretty interesting that they did a, a stamina recovery instead of the cost. Hit this hearth fixed an issue where the set could bypass six person heal cap per tick, hollow fang thirst, um, reduce the magic of granted from the set from 25, 23 down from 3,000. Hunt Leader fixed an issue where the heal from the set could critically strike. Icy Conjure, the set now deals 21,700 damage over 10 seconds rather than 18,920 over 8. Reduce the cooldown to 10 seconds 
down from 12 and fixed inch where the sets damage over time could not stack from multiple set wears. That's crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Iron Blood, they increased the proc chance to 10% and they fixed this an issue where the snare from the set uh, could stack with other snares in some cases. Jailbreaker, this set now grants additional 142 stamina recovery on 5 piece jolting arms. This set no longer has a proc chance, now you block an attack, your next bash attack deals an additional 3513 damage and will increase your physical and spell resistance by 4620 for six seconds. This effect can occur once every six seconds, and they reduce the damage from the bash or to your bash to 3513 down from 6086. Knight Errant finally got its its much needed increase. Increase the weapon damage of the set to 450 up from 200. They increase the heal to 1537 up from uh, 1250, and they fixed an issue where the heal could critically strike. This is awesome. Much needed. Nightmare, holy crap. Major improvement. This set no longer has a proc chance. Now when you deal damage, you apply minor maim to all enemies within 8 meters of you for 2 seconds, reducing the duration of the set to 2 seconds down from 5. So pretty much any time you deal damage, you're going to be applying this every 2 seconds. That makes Minor Main a really good set for Minor Main application. Like reducing incoming damage. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm <clears throat> going to grab a drink, guys. Alright. <clears throat> this set, Lamia Song, this set now grants health, magic, and stamina per ultimate point spent up to six nearby group members rather than restoring three health per ultimate point spent to them and they fixed an issue where the heal from this could critically strike that's actually really good because that's a lot of magic and stamina you can give to your allies leeching plate reduce the damage done from the set to a thousand eighty per tick down from 1200 this set no longer has a proc chance now when you take damage you could a cloud of leeching poison is summoned around you that deals up to thousand one hundred eight 80 damage every second for 5 seconds and the heals, 100% damage the cloud can be created once every 5 seconds, so that's yeah, leeching plate's really nice now Leviathan, they increased the weapon critical to 1937 up from 1924 not much, but enough light speaker, now grants 600 spell damage to your restoration staff abilities up from 450 Magic of Furnace, this set now restores 7,590 uh, 7, Magicka when you take any damage under 50% health or 50% Magicka rather than restoring 8,000 Magicka when you take melee damage while under 80%. So it's any damage now. That's really nice. Medusa, this set's 2 to 4 piece bonus now are now spell critical rather than health, Magicka, and spell damage. This set now has an additional 5-piece bonus of 900 spell critical. <coughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Mighty Glacier. This set now grants major resolve to the nearest 11 allies rather than granting it to them based on the order they were invited to the group. Moon Hunter. This set now grants 547 spell damage for 8 seconds rather than 600 for 6. Noble Duelist Silks, this set now increases light and heavy attack damage by 1811 for 5 seconds after dealing damage with a light and heavy attack in melee range rather than increasing the damage done to 1225 over 8 seconds after dodging an attack. Wow. And the set has a 5 second cooldown. Oblivion's Edge, this set uh, increased the healing of the set to 2161 up from 1720. Increase the weapon damage on the 5 piece to 258 up from 129. Fixed an issue where this heal could critically strike, and the heal from the set occurs once every 10 seconds. Wow. Overwhelming Surge. Increase the damage per tick to 1114 up from 1140. Remove the proc chance from the set and increase the cooldowns to 7 seconds up from 6. So anytime you take damage, you're going to do this lightning around you. Wow. Or, it, or is it whenever you... No, it's anytime you deal damage. Wow. 
Parabellum. This set now grants a damage shield that absorbs 7,010 damage every 10 seconds rather than granting a damage shield that absorbs 12,000 if you haven't taken any damage in 6 seconds. Permafrost. This set now grants 1,006 health or 1,106 health recovery when you have a damage shield active up from 855 or 885. <coughs> Pillars of Nern, this set now grant, uh, deals 4,718 damage initially and over 23,590 over 10 seconds. Up from 2,000 and 10,000 over 10 seconds. Remove the proc chance now that when you deal damage you create a fissure under the enemy that after 1 second steals X amount of damage to all enemies within 2.5 meters and causing them to bleed an additional over 10 seconds. This effect can occur once every 10 seconds. And they fixed an issue where the set's damage over time could not stack with multiple players. Wow. Plague Slinger. Reduce the damage per hit to 50, or 5,095, down from 5,160, and reduce the cooldown to 8 seconds from 15. Now you can better role play as the Rat Whisperer. Come to me, my minions. I like that. Prayer Shawl. This set now procs on overhealing caused rather than healing caused. Increase the damage shield to 4,997 up from 2813 and remove the proc chance of the set to, but added a two second cooldown. Wow. That's like the new um, combat physician. Rattle Cage. This set's five piece bonus down grants 171 spell damage up from 100. Reynolds Resolve. This set now stacks up to 9 times up from 8, reduces the duration of the bonus to 5 seconds down from 10, reduce the cooldown to 500 milliseconds down from 1 second, and we kept stacking set at 9 instead of the visual 10 because of we like the tooltip. Okay. Robes of Destruction. This set now grants 2,840 Magicka while you have a Destruction Staff equipped, up from 2,400. Sanctuary. This set now grants 10% healing taken to you and nearby allies down from 12%. All right. Savage Werewolf. Increase the damage done per tick to 1,200 up from 1,000. Uh, scavenging Demise. Increase the damage to the set to 11,173 up from 7,000. That's pretty cool. Sheer Venom. This set now can now proc on multiple targets from a single hit on an execute attack but cannot refresh itself on targets. This set now deals 8,766 damage over 6 seconds and deals in up to 100% more damage to targets below 100% rather than 8,410 over 6 seconds. Okay. Spell Pyro Cure. This set now grants major courage with you when you overheal a target rather than having 50% chance to grant it when you heal them at 100% health. This set no longer has a six-person target cap, but to better mirror the power of Ulram. What? <laughs> That's actually really cool. Splunker. This set now uh, reduces the cost of your Undaunted abilities by 10% rather than granting a 400 weapon and spell damage. The set restores 730 magic and stamina when an ally activates an Undaunted synergy with a five-second cooldown rather than restoring 1,500 stamina with no cooldown. Okay. Spider Cultist Cowl. This set now grants 600 spells damage to your destruction staff of attacks, up from 450. Storm Master. This set now increases light and heavy attack damage by 1,542, rather than causing your light attacks to deal an additional 1,333 shock damage. This set no longer works with Overload. That is actually really cool. I like that they did the light and heavy attack damage. But you still have to heavy attack to get it. So, but that's cool. Sunder Flame. This set now deals 13,600 damage over 10 seconds and applies minor fracture and breach for the duration rather than 4,000 flame damage and applying fracture and breach for 8 seconds. Wow. That's nice. Sword Dancer. This set now grants 600 weapon damage to your dual will, up from 450. Also nice. Worms Ruminant. This set now grants 145 magic recovery to you and your nearby allies, rather than reducing the cost of your nearby allies' magic abilities by 4%. Tooth Throw and Treasure Hunter. Increase the weapon and spell damage granted to 171, up from 100. Z uh, Zogren Zogren's Warband. 
Increase the weapon critical to set to 134 per stack, up from 129. Reduce the cool uh, duration of stacks to 5, down from 10. And added a 500 milliseconds to generating stacks. Okay, so they nerfed this set really bad. But not so bad that it's not usable. Undaunted Bastion. Increase the damage shield size to 14, 127, up from 13, 760. This set now activates when you are below 75% health. And Taunt, rather than 60%, updated the tooltip to better state its proc uh, co conditions. Undaunted Infiltrator and Unweaver. This set no longer have, uh, these sets no longer have an identity crisis and grant the appropriate stats for their armor weights. Although they still require you to cast an ability that is not the primary resource of their weight. This set now, uh, these sets now increase your light and heavy attack damage by 1685 for the duration rather than increasing your light attack damage by 774 and your heavy attack by, that's pretty cool though. Widowmaker, this set now deals uh, 19,728 damage over 5 seconds when it procs rather than 7 instantly. Wow. This is the cool one, Winterborn. Increase the damage of this set to 7,400 up from 6,020 uh, and then reduce, remove the proc chance. Now when you deal frost damage, you summon an ice pillar that deals uh, 7,400 frost damage in a 3 meter radius. The ice pillar persists for 2 seconds and reduces the movement speed of all enemies by 50%. This effect can occur once every six seconds, so it's actually pretty nice how they have it set up. They increase the cooldown from six seconds up from four seconds, which is now also properly mentioned in the tool bit tip, and they reduce the snare to 60%, 50% or from 60, and they fixed an issue where the snare was removed immediately after leaving the area, rather than lingering for the short duration. <coughs> Trial sets. The following sets now have affect you and five other group members rather than you and three other allies and the duration of this set's bonus is now determined by the amount of ultimate spent one second for every 14 ultimate used automated defense master architect war machine and inventors guards arms of reliquin they reduce the num maximum number of stacks from the set and the perfected version down uh, to 15 down from 20 they fixed an issue where the damage could uh, return as direct damage in some cases. This, I think, is good, but I still think this set's going to be too overpowered. Berserking Warrior, this set now grants 305 weapon critical per stack, down from 400. They increase the maximum number of stacks to 10, up from 5, and they reduce the duration of each stack to 5 seconds, down from 6. This is actually going to make the set a little bit more powerful especially for heavy armor dps users it'll be great for stamina users but way better for uh heavy armor because they change the stacks to 10. defending warrior they increase the damage done to the set uh to 4110 up from 4000 they reduce the cooldown to five seconds uh down from 10. elemental warrior fixed an issue where the heal from this set could critically strike false gods devotion Remove the extra five piece bonus of spell damage on the normal version of the set and the extra five piece bonus of magicka on the perfected version to better mirror the, vicious, the power of Vicious Ophidian as the perfected version of Quick Serpent. This set now properly mentions its one second cooldown. Healing Mage, this set now reduces enemies, uh, nearby enemies' weapon and spell damage by two, tw uh, 28. 286 for 5 seconds rather than nearby enemies by 430 for 3 seconds. Mortal Warrior, they fixed an issue where the major protection from this set could stack with other sources, fixed numerous visual errors from this set. Infallible Mage, they reduced the bonus damage from the heavy attack to 900 down from 903. Lunar Bastion, this set now creates an area for 8 seconds down from 10. Increase the cooldown to 20 seconds up from 10. And this set now grants a damage shield that absorbs 2,383 uh, damage every 2 seconds, but continues to stack every tick, rather than applying a damage shield that absorbs 2,399 every 2 seconds, but constantly refreshes. So now it, it does a stacking shield. That's actually really good. But the 20 second cooldown might be the thing that hurts it. Fix numerous visual effects with this set. Mantle of Soria, this set and the perfected version now grant 52 spell damage per, per stack, up from 30. 
and reduce the maximum stacks to 10 down from 20. That's going to make that set a little bit weaker, but it's still really powerful, and it, and it keeps it within that power range. I like this change. The other one, not so much. Uh, Moon Dancer, this set now grants 474 spell damage and magic recovery up from 448. Reduce the duration of the bonus to 20 seconds down from 30. Hmm. Poisonous Serpent, this set now, uh, they increase the damage of the set to 3945 from 3000, increase the cooldown to 2 seconds up from 1, and remove the proc chance. Now when you deal damage with a light or heavy attack against an enemy who has poison damage on them, you deal an additional uh, damage to them. This effect can occur every 2 seconds. Wow. Roar of Alkosh. This set now deals damage, uh, 3010 damage initially and 11,020 damage over 10 seconds. Rather than 1720 initial damage and 12,040 damage over 10 seconds. The armor shred from this set is now based on the amount of damage done from the initial hit rather than a flat 3010. Fixed an issue where the damage over time from this set could not stack from wares. So the way this works is anytime you activate a synergy, it deals 3,010 damage initially with 11,000 damage over 10 seconds. It used to be 1,700 damage up front with 12,000 damage over 10 seconds. They took the armor um, reduction thing out and just put it into the damage. So that's really cool. I like that they did that. But I still think Roar of Alkosh um, would be better for a stamina DPS than a tank. No offense. Roaring Opportunist Descent and its perfect version now only applied to 6 members down from 12 fixed an issue where the radius was not based on the wear of the set in some cases. Tooth of Lork, um, Lo Lokazitz reduced the duration of this set and perfected version to 10, 10 seconds down from 10 or 15. Twice Fang Serpent, they reduced the penetration, penetration granted per stack to 544 down to six, uh, 860. They increased the maximum number of stacks to 10 up from 5 and they increased the cooldown of generating stacks to 500 milliseconds up from 100 milliseconds. They increased the duration of each stack to 5 seconds up from 3 seconds. This just made Two Fang Serpent really, like this is better, no offense to, in, in, to, to some people than some of those other sets of penetration because that's 10 stacks. <clears throat> Twilight Remedy, this set now heals 27,984 over 15 seconds rather than 21,758 over 10. The set no longer has a cooldown. They fixed an issue where the heal from this set could critically strike, and they fixed an issue where the minor force from this set was not properly flagged as a minor buff. Anders Might, each of the Giants Endurance now grants seven, uh, 74 weapon damage rather than the 69 stamina recovery. The cooldown for generating these stacks has been reduced to uh, 0.5 seconds down from 1. Vestments of Allurement. They reduced the duration of the Major Courage on this set to 10 seconds down from 30. Adjusted the max targets to 6 down from 12. Please note that you can still affect more than 6 players, but no more than 6 can get the bonus every second in the circle. Vicious Serpent. This set now properly mentions its cooldown in the tooltip. Oh, poor nerf. And I say that with, with, the, yeah, I, I said it like that for a reason. Player versus player sourced uh, armor. Affliction. This set no longer has a proc chance. Now when you deal damage, you deal an extra 1830 disease damage to the target. The damage immediately applies to the disease status effects, applying minor defile to the target for four seconds. Elysian Order. This set now grants 2% of your total physical and spell pen, uh, resistance as health recovery up from 1%. Um, Alexia's Mercy. This set now heals 4,000 health over 3 seconds to group members in the area rather than 2793 immediately. And this set has a 3 second cooldown but no longer has a proc chance. Now when you take damage, you and a group member within 7 meters, meters of you heal for 4,000 health over 3 seconds. And this effect can occur every 3 seconds. Bastion in the Heartland. They reduce the damage or the damage reduction by bonus to 3% down from 5 of this set's 3 piece. They reduce the damage reduction bonus to 10% down from 20% from area of effect and siege. Battalion Defender. Increase the heal from the set to 2466 up from 2000. Black Rose. They increase the bonus 
to the Constitution passive when wearing this set up to 60% up from 35 and they increase the weapon and spell damage to 176 up from 154. That's wow. I like it. Coward's gear. This set now appears to correctly sheet uh you, appears in your character sheet when it is active rather than appearing permanently. Fix an issue where this set would override all sources of magic expedition. A major expedition wearing rather than only overriding them while sprinting. Yep. Okay. Crest of Cyrodiil. Reduce the healing of this set to 7890 down from 8000. Deadly Strike. They fixed an issue where this set did not apply the tooltip of some area effect damage over time abilities. Desert Rose. Increase the proc chance to 25% up from 15 and reduce the magic restored to 2012 down from... Hmm. Okay, still not super bad. This set now grants 6% cost reduction and damage done. So it increases by your cost, or reduces your cost reduction by 6% and your damage done by 6% with bow attacks up from 5. That's actually really nice. Kind's Kiss. This set now restores 13, 14 health and stamina with a 5 second cooldown rather than 15% chance to proc with a 1 second cooldown. Now when you deal damage with the while 12 meters or further from your target, you restore health and stamina. That's pretty nice. <coughs> Mysterious Service. This now grants 3,540 armor to your group members for 20 seconds rather than 3,010 armor to allies for 2 minutes. Phoenix. Increase the duration of the shield to 10 seconds up from 6 and fixed an issue where the damage had a higher chance of applying burning than intended. Powerful Assault, this set now grants 307 weapon and spell damage to group members within, 10, within a 10 meter radius for 10 seconds rather than uh, 164 weapon and spell damage to allies within 15 meters for t uh, 15 seconds. So they increased the amount but lowered the time limit and the range. Hmm. It's still nice. This set grants 176 weapon damage per stack up from 125. Sentry, this set now grants 266 weapon damage on this 5 piece, up from 129. Soldiers of, uh, Soldier of Anguish, this set no longer has a proc chance. Now your melee light attacks place a ring on the ground that ex uh, explodes after 1.3 seconds, applying 4,830 heal absorption to all enemies and hit for 4 seconds. This effect can occur once every 6 seconds. Increase the heal absorption to 4,830, up from 4,800. Spell Strategist. They reduce the spell damage of the set to 460, down from 500. Steadfast Hero. They reduce the cooldown of the set to 18 seconds, down from 20. Archmage. Increase the magic of regeneration granted by this set to 506, up from 369. The Juggernaut. They increase the healing uh, this set to 20,000, up from 18,060. This set now grant, also grants 20,000 armor for 15 seconds while after activating. Holy my... Wow. Okay, Morag Tong. This set now causes targets to take bonus disease and poison damage rather than only poison damage. Even better. Fuse of the Heartbringer. This set now deals damage based on 7% of your max health, up from 6%. Vanguard's Challenge. This set now decreases the damage done by your target versus your allies by 7 by 35% down from 50 it also increases the damage done to your, by your target versus you by 35% rather than 150. Wow. That's weird. But hey, Vice Cannon of Venom. This set now activates when you deal critical damage while behind an enemy rather than dealing critical damage while stealth or invisible. This set now deals 8,980 damage over 10 seconds to a target rather than 13,760 over 15 seconds. Fixed an issue where the final tick of damage did not heal you. Fixed an issue where this set had a higher chance of applying poison status effects than intended. And Vicious Death. This set now grants an additional 1487 spell penetration on its 5-piece bonus. Increase the damage done by 22,400 uh, 22, up from 1515. Uh, and fixed an issue where this set had a lower chance of applying the burning status effect than intended. Ward of Cyrodiil. Fixed an issue where the major defile from this set counted as two negative effects rather than one. Warrior's Fury reduced the weapon damage per stack to 24, down from 30. Wizard's Repost. 
or wizards, you know, composite, whatever. This set now applies minor evasion to enemies who critically strike you rather than minor main or innervation. And this set now also grants 660 critical resistance on your five piece bonus. Okay. Monster Mass, Blood Spawn. They increase the armor to 37, 31 up from 3300, and they increase the ultimate to 13 up from 8. The ultimate granted now scales with level and quality. <clears throat> okay. Engine Guardian fixed an issue where the heal from this set could critically strike. Grothar, this set now only activates when you are within 8 meters of an enemy where it can deal damage in the first place and fixed an issue where this set's damage was considered direct damage rather than damage over time and they fixed an issue where this set had a higher chance of applying burning, uh, burning than intended. Alumbras, this set now is now labeled as damage over time rather than direct damage. Krogs, this set is now melee damage rather than damage over time. Mulligan fixed numerous issues where this set simultaneously uh, for simultaneous light attacks could fail in situations where it actually didn't. Pirate Skeleton fixed an issue where this item set could proc from or proc when you had a, a damage shield active and were hit by an area effect attack. Vulcan Scoria fixed an issue where this set had a lower proc chance than listed and its and its cooldown could extend an extra 1.5 seconds past its listed value. Zahn fixed an issue where the damage of this set could be dodged. All right, ability altering weapons, concentrated force. This set now requires two force casts to activate down from three. Reduce the duration of the window between each cast to two seconds, down from a, a refreshing five seconds each cast. Mythic items, snow treaders, updated the tool tab of this item set to better reflect when you have the snare or mobilization immunity, which is only while in combat, and they fixed a rare issue where the where in quickly entering, leaving, or re-entering combat, the snare immunity could fail to apply. <coughs> Thracian Stranglers. Reduce the spell damage granted per stack to 92 down from 150. Reduce the penalty per stack to 1% down from 2. And the stack from this now last 30 seconds and refresh every time you gain a stack rather than being permanent. This set now also grants weapon damage. That's nice. And guys, honestly, that is it for this video. There is some other changes and fixings and stuff like that, but I'm not going to go through this. I just read a crud of information for you guys on the combat changes. I hope you guys did uh, do feel the same way about this as a lot of us do that a lot of these changes were needed for the game to, to improve but also to make the sets more enjoyable more like uh, likable in some cases and more interesting so but yeah lots of testing is going to have to go on with a lot of this to see how it works out I'm really interested in seeing how some of these sets work because I do use a lot of different sets and different builds and these changes also give me a lot of ideas for new builds with new ideas so yeah super excited about that hope you guys are too and if you are you guys know what's coming next go ahead and hit that like button if you guys want to see more videos by me you can subscribe other than that i want to thank you all for watching until next time have a wonderful day and this guy might see you in game bye